Shuttle. This is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th Platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. They were wary of a future Krogan threat. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now, we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th Platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. Copy that.
must be huge. They sent a lot of guys to defend that thing. The size is due to heavy shielding needed to ensure the bomb remained intact. Good work, Lieutenant. Must have been far enough underground to stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig it up. It must have been strategically placed for maximum yield. I advise haste, Commander. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Moving towards the control station. Roger that. We're on our way. We're closing on the Hornet's nest. They'll be swarming out any minute now. I agree, Lieutenant. This is a high value target. Cerberus will commit any reserve to attack. Control schematics for automated turrets. No good now, but they might be useful later. The original safeguards are no match for current technology. We need to hurry. I'm at the control panel, Commander. Cerberus.
first set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Damn it! Commander! Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. Nobody gets past us. Clear? Clear! Cerberus hacked the trigger mechanism. It's set to detonate. Disarm it. No time. I have to separate the trigger from the bomb. Now. Cover me.
chatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side? Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining Cerberus troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. Did you get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. You can spend your whole life making up for your mistakes. At least the guy went out in a blaze of glory. We still talking about the Primarch's son? I'm not going anywhere, Loco. I'm getting tired of seeing people die. The losses are unfortunate, Shepard. But preserving the peace between Turians and Krogan could prevent the deaths of millions. I know, Edie. But right now, I just don't give a damn about politics. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb. They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Heck it out. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey! We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Primarch, you had a bomb on Tachanka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. His own son died today, making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. <sighs> I understand your reservations before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. Secrets get people killed. You've learned that the hard way. Yes. The hardest lesson I'm ever to learn, Commander. My son... He died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. Again, Commander, thank you for ensuring my son died with honor. It's all a Turian father can hope for. But this is war. The time for mourning is later. Is there something you need? Despite everything, Primarch, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you, Commander. And I know I'm not the first to lose their son to this war. Needless to say, I'm committed to stopping the Reapers. That's all. Of course, Commander. We could be on the front lines. Why have they got us guarding a door, anyway? This is gonna break regs right now. War makes people stupid. Besides, you talked with Moreau? Collectors invaded this ship and kidnapped the crew. Damn. Okay, I guess we gotta be ready for anything to come through that door. I heard what Victor's did. He was a brave man. I don't think I could... Uh, there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do that. But? But I was wrong. Being here, watching you, you've shown me what it means to serve in the Alliance. You're a good officer, trainer. Glad you finally realize it. Thanks. 
And not that I'm volunteering for bomb jump duty. I'd suggest sending someone who has armor first, if possible. Commander? They strap a big old bomb to your planet. You know, just in case you get uppity again someday. I'm just glad we disarmed it. Damn right. Krogan are pretty tough. I'd rather it be Reaper asses getting kicked and not ours. Commander? What's new, Edie? Admiral Anderson reports that the Reapers on Earth are broadcasting orders. They are demanding human leaders enter their superstructures in order to negotiate peace. Anybody aboard a Reaper is going to be indoctrinated. Exactly. This is a ruse to pacify the populace during that process. Citizens who are busy waiting are not busy fighting. It is likely that the governments of Earth will soon enact laws punishing those who attack the Reaper occupiers. Again, this will be done in the name of peace. Tell Anderson we're moving as fast as we can. Hello, Shepard. Greetings, Commander. I've never seen Krogan move with such purpose. It's a little terrifying. Thanks for coming by. I heard what happened. Sounds like Lieutenant Tarquin never hesitated. He didn't. Well. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. Sacrifice among my people is expected. But saying that, he did us proud. Yes, you there? I'm here, Rex. I'll assume you didn't know about this. My good friend wouldn't hide the fact that his people planted a doomsday bomb on my planet, right? Rex, I was just as much in the dark as you. Honest. I'd be happy to give Krogan some lessons on relaxing. <laughs> and we'd be happy to feed you to a thresher maw. Rick's out. And next time, Shepard, don't let him near the intercom. I don't know what Turian came up with the idea, but a doomsday bomb was damned ingenious. Embarrassing, now. But ingenious, back then. I'm glad Rex is taking this so well. My people haven't exactly treated his kind with charity over the years. So who needs their ass kicked now? enough. Either you should have detonated the bomb on the Krogan world, or used it as leverage. I think we were just trying to guarantee peace. A static mode of existence. Nothing changes, nothing struggles, nothing grows. On the upside, we all get to live another day. Nice chatting. There is some enjoyment in speaking to this Turian. His knowledge of war is formidable. Though he would be an even better marksman if he had four eyes. Back when the Krogan rebelled, I would have detonated a bomb that day. There was no need for the genophage. Yes?
breaking now, the Arcturus station destroyed, and the Alliance Parliament feared dead. But Admiral Stephen Hackett says the fleets can regroup. We'll hear it from him right here in the battle space. Commander. That last job on Tachanka was intense. I tried providing air support, but the sky was so full of Cerberus, it was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. Just verifying our parts backlog. Too bad about Tarquin. I was starting to like him. Hey, 